Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 16th of 2023. Well, it is titled Total Eclipse, the big corona. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the total, total solar eclipse that occurred about a month ago uh, and was visible in Australia, or at least off the western portions of Australia and into the ocean, surrounding oceans. Now, an eclipse occurs when our moon passes in front of the sun and blocks out its light. And a total solar eclipse occurs when they are lined up perfectly and the moon completely blocks out all of the sun's light. In a partial eclipse, only a portion of the sun's surface would be blocked out. And it takes a total eclipse in order to be able to see the corona as we see around the edge of the sun here. That is the outermost region of the solar atmosphere. And in a way shows us something about the solar activity. When the corona is very prominent, the sun is being much more active and it is energized and heated by the magnetic fields of the sun, which whip up the particles to very high speeds and therefore very high temperatures. So while there's not a lot of particles there, they are moving extremely fast. And that's what we mean by temperature is the speed at which particles are moving. Now you can also see some of the pink glow around the edge, which is solar prominences also associated with solar magnetic fields as material is lifted off the surface of the sun. These are denser regions and more material being lifted up there. And although I say they're denser, they're still very low density compared to things solid things here on Earth. Now the solar eclipse here was one of several eclipses that have occurred over the past few years. We had a very prominent eclipse across North America in 2017. And for those in North America, another one is coming in April of next year. So on April 8th of 2024, there will be a total solar eclipse that will be visible in most of the central and eastern portions of the United States. Now the, the partial eclipse will be available from much of that region from almost all of that region. And if you're on the central path, what we call the path of totality, where the moon shadow strikes Earth's surface, you would have the opportunity to see something similar to this. And you would be able to see the sun, the sun being blocked out by the moon, and possibly see the corona as well. Now, while normally you cannot see near as much detail, fine detail with the naked eye as you can with a camera exposure, in many cases, the coronal features are able to be seen by the eye very well in that dark light. So you get a good chance to be able to see the corona as well as solar prominences since the sun will likely still be very active at that time on the, at that point when the moon will pass in front of the sun a little less than a year from now. So that was our picture of the day for May 16th of 2023. It was titled Total Eclipse, the Big Corona. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Sun Bridge. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.